Welcome back, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Katherine Thompson here. We've got an active weather night. Luckily, so far, so good. No reports of major flooding or severe weather across our immediate area. But the night is still young, at least according to Fred. The storm is slowly making its way through the Appalachian Mountains as we speak. We can see the rain on our pipe stem camera there. Actually, that's our Princeton camera. Excuse me. Temperatures right now in the 60s and 70s. We're not going to move much with temperatures overnight. That cloud cover will block any heat trying to escape into the open atmosphere and really keep us steady when it comes to the temperatures. We're really going to be in the 60s, low 70s for most of the evening. We've got a lot of this warm, moist air just continuing to move in. This is, again, what's left of what was Tropical Storm Fred, now just a remnant area of low pressure or a tropical depression. And you can see some of these heavier bands of rain still to come through our area to the south. So if you haven't seen a heavier downpour yet, well, you could definitely see one in the next few hours. We're talking about on and off rounds of wider spread rain continuing to push uh, through our area through early Wednesday morning. And some of these rainfall rates have been very impressive. I've been watching this particular line that's had severe cells embedded in it moving through parts of North Carolina. At times, those rainfall rates are two to four inches an hour, if not greater than that. It's been raining across some of our western counties for quite a few hours now, too. I've been watching that rain uh, pile up a bit. We've already had around an inch or so fall across parts of Wyoming, McDowell, Buchanan counties, two or three inches in some spots. So that could get worse. That could start to make your creek streams, poor drainage areas start to get some high water. So that's something we're going to be watching because we're not done with the rain yet. Again, we've got more to fall on top of what we've seen already and more of us will get more rain overnight. So again, if you haven't seen much yet, chances are you'll get more rain in the coming hours. Fred, eventually the storm will move off to the northeast. By tomorrow afternoon, it's north of here. So the rain should lighten up by tomorrow afternoon, but at least through early tomorrow morning before sunrise, we're concerned about the potential for these heavy downpours and flash flooding. A flash flood watch is in effect for the entire WVVA viewing area. The National Weather Service updated that a few hours ago. This will run until tomorrow at noon. We also still have a tornado watch out for parts of our area. This is with county mainly. That will run until 2 a.m. We've got just enough upper level support upper level wind support to spin up some brief weak tornadoes, especially along and south of 460. So we're monitoring these bands as they come in very closely because again, this is not your average system. This is a tropical depression or what's left of a tropical storm moving through. You can see these heavier bands, this particular model going a little heavy with these tonight. Again, through two, three, four o'clock in the morning, they're finally out of here as the sun's coming up and we get lighter again during the afternoon. So this is not going to be a prolonged event, but tonight through early tomorrow, we're worried about rain, flooding issues, gusty winds that could be in there. Some of these storms could still pack 40, 50 mile per hour gust, at least in spots. And again, that isolated tornado threat cannot be ruled out. With the wet ground, it won't take a tornado. You can get 25, 30 mile per hour winds to take down a few trees. So isolated power loss is going to be a concern overnight tonight and at least into early tomorrow. And then again, by tomorrow afternoon, we start to calm down. But have a way to receive those severe weather alerts overnight tonight. And if you've got to be out on the roads late tonight or early tomorrow morning, you have to slow down. Make sure your wipers are in good order. And make sure you have plenty of time to get to where you need to be. Again, overnight, we stay mild tomorrow. A little bit warmer because we'll have a bit more sun peak out by the afternoon. But just know that through the early morning, it could be a bit dicey on the roads. We start to calm down with those rain chances, though. Just some pop-up showers and storms late week through the weekend. Next week, looking more typical summertime weather. Hey, stick with us. We'll be right back with sports right after this break. Don't go away.